Hi, boys and girls. Um, today we're going to talk about equality and using the terms true or false. We have talked about equal and not equal. These are newer terms, true or false. So let me teach them to you really quickly. Okay, we'll talk about true first. If we have two sets that are the same amount, I'll put three over here and three over here. Okay, these sets are equal. It is the same amount on both sides. We call this equation true because it is right. It is equal, meaning it's true. It's true that there are the same amount on both sides. Okay, let me add a few to this side. Now I have one, two, three here, and I have one, two, three, four, five. This is not equal. It is not the same on both sides. This means that this statement is false. If it is not equal, it means it's false. It is not true that it is the same amount on both sides. It is false. It is not the same amount on both sides. Okay. Now, we're going to look at the work assigned, and I'm going to help you figure these out, okay? So these are our equality statements, our equations here, and we're going to determine, are they true or all they, are all, sorry, or all they, or are they false? My mouth isn't working today, okay? So we'll look at the first one, and we're going to build this equation, because there's an addition sentence here, and then an equal sign and another addition sentence here. So this is going to be a little tougher. So we're going to start with this side, 3 and 3. No problem. Here's 3 and 3. Now if you know your doubles, you know that's 6. I'm going to look at the other side, 4 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. And two more, four, five, six. Are these the same amount on both sides? Yes, they are. They are equal. And equal means true. So on your papers, you can see the words here, true or false. This one is true. We know this was six. We know this was six. We know this is true. So when you're doing this page, you can add up the different sides, see if it's equal or not equal, and then choose the true word for equal or the false word for not equal. Let's try one more so that you can get the hang of this. Okay, over here I have two and six. So let's start with two. And we'll put down six more. If I'm going to add this up, I'll start with the big number, six, seven, eight. So on this side, we have eight. I'll write that down. Let's build the other side. Four and five. One, two, three, four. Okay, just from looking at it, I can tell this is not equal because this is the same, but this is different. So the difference is this one. It is not equal, but let's see how many there are on this side, just, just so we know. Now I know that five and five makes 10, but I have four and five. So I'm gonna think one less than 10, which is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, boys and girls, I have eight and I have nine, a pretty fat nine here. So is this the same amount on both sides? No, it is not equal. Not equal. Is that true or false? That means false. So I'm going to write the word false. Okay, your job is to find something in your house if you need it. Find some cereal, some marshmallows, some Lego, whatever you have, lots of. I want you to look at each little box 
build this side of the equal sign, then build this side of the equal sign, write down the numbers so you know how much it is, and then decide is that equal or not equal, and write true or false. One more thing I forgot to do over here is, you know what, I'm going to make this one false so I can see that that is not true. This one I can leave because it's equal. This one is not, so I can make a line there and write false. Okay, if you have questions on this, please let me know or rewatch this video. Sometimes seeing something two times is better than one. Happy building and have fun with true or false.